what we got maybe way 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 too bright so that lights up there may have to go black and white here but that'll be cool um got here today and uh clearly left the memory card into my good camera at home so thank goodness i had three iphones and uh and and and, and two gopros not gopros but cheap Chinese action cameras uh, that I can use here at the gym so um, I know this camera messed up a couple of times and I missed some video but uh, I think we've, we've managed to get the point um, I went yesterday to another city saw a neurosurgeon I'm not really ready to talk about it if I'm being honest uh, I don't I don't mean to come across wrong but I, I'm just it's a tough situation um, so I will say that so I'll say two things they have never they in their careers have never seen an MRI as bad as mine um, I'll tell you three things they have never met someone even remotely like me before uh, with my pain tolerance with my work ethic uh, with my drive to get things done with my skills and knowledge um, and that the key to everything uh, is going to be me limiting my body's amount of inflammation. So I, I, I you know, we're going to run some medicines, um, some pretty high dose cortisone type stuff to take down the inflammation in my back uh, and, and hips. And I am going to live... I'm going to do the best I can with every moment in my life to make the smartest decision possible. So even though the suggestion was don't train, we came to the conclusion that not training would also have to include medication and uh, psychological and psychiatric help. And, and I don't mean that uh, to get a laugh out of anybody. I, I mean that in order for me to stop training, we would have to line that up first uh, medication and psychiatric help would have to be lined up way before I could say okay I'm not going to train for an undetermined amount of time um, so here I am making the smartest decisions possible the smartest decisions possible so I rule out what is impossible and, and I rule out what has to be done uh, or you know what doesn't have to be done um, so the box squats with full box squats with full gear and tons of bands is really what I woke up wanting to do that's what I love to do guys you guys know that that's also what bothers my back the most not while I'm training you know my first couple of warm-up sets I usually get a twinge but we all do you know we're mid 40s we all get some kind of twinge on warm-ups uh, but it's it's you know today's Wednesday it's Thursday Friday and sometimes Saturday that I end up having I didn't realize I was having problems but 
I've been having a little problems with that. So I need to limit or eliminate that for as long as possible. And I need to find some other kind of demon to feed that. So uh, I put my spud briefs on. I watched a video by spud before I trained and he had his spud briefs on and got me fired to put those on. The buffalo bar probably feels the best. Buffalo bar and front squats probably both feel the best as far as on my back. As long as I can do them um, even remotely, you know, proper. Um, so I, I just, I get the buffalo bar, I put the blue bands on there, whatever those are. Um, those are, they're, they're cheap bands, so they're really tight at the top, and they're completely loose at the bottom. The contrast is, is huge. Um, and I just did singles. The bar, a plate, two plates, three plates, uh, and then I added the weight releasers, which was four plates. Um, felt okay. It satisfied me. It satisfied me to say that I did a squat, uh, and I, you know, mentally got under the bar and got focused. And that's the kind of thrill that I love. And I know that you guys understand that. I know that you guys understand exactly what I mean. So uh, I wanted to work on some sissy squats. Actually, I needed to work on some goblet squats today. But uh, I will work on that on Friday. Um, sissy squats I set up. Didn't get it exactly like I wanted, but I'm getting really close. So I played with those a little bit. And I think there's going to be a way for me to add weight, I think. Holding sandbags is going to be the key. All right, so battery died. I don't know when it died, but uh, I was talking about moving to deadlifts. Uh, I pulled three plates, which is 345, 346, plus 105 and chains. Uh, they never felt good, never got the right position. Um, Last set felt decent. I added a pair of deep dish Duffin 35s on each side. Uh, puts me at 415 plus 105 in chains. That set felt so freaking good. that I almost added another full plate on each side to come back for another set. But I didn't because the point is not to test today. The point is to do some training and build for the future. So limit my risks make the smartest choices possible and after that i set up some calf raises with the stronger than you uh, attachment on the end oh man guys that thing is absolutely amazing um you can just look for stronger than you inc on instagram he's got tons of videos this thing is heavy duty that's it's heavy duty and it's really lightweight I don't know how you do that, but I've got another landmine that is really heavy duty and I ain't carrying it nowhere. I don't take it from here to home. I don't move it in the gym. It's so heavy and that may be fine. But for a lot of people that travel and move and go places, that's the reason you have a landmine. Um, and this thing just clamps on the bar. It's so light. I don't have to jam it down into a bunch of other plates. Doesn't scratch up my floor at home. Uh, and the way I set that up, my calves are fried. They are fried. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a great one. We will see you back here, hopefully, on Friday. Have a good one, guys.